What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and a quick unboxing here for Blood and Plunder. So we're working on some English here for one of our uh, contributors who decided to jump into the game and play as the English. So we're going to take a look here at a English Militia blister for you guys. Again, you just get the four figures in here that you typically get in one of the infantry blisters. So we'll be right back after we get this open and sorted for you. All right, and we got them all open, and again, some really good-looking figs here, but again, that's par for the course with Firelock here. A little bit of bending back in place. Um, again, everything's metal and kind of packed in there loosely without any kind of foam or anything, so uh, very rare to have everything straight out of the box. And as you can see, there's a little bit of warp still on the back musket guy here. But anyway, really cool different poses for everything in English Militia. Are definitely one of the things you're going to need a fair bit of if you're playing that faction, uh, by and large, unless you're going for one of the specialty ones. But again, some great poses here. Um, got this guy reloading. And again, of course, these are going to look better painted up when they get to that point. So I'll have to nudge our contributor after getting all this uh, these videos done here for him uh, to get in and get on the paint job here. So a little bit of cleanup work, of course, but overall not bad. Again, a little bit of bending back in place. This guy's siding down the gun and... Um, I don't know if it's just without having others for comparison here, but it seems like the English muskets here are all like really, really long barreled. But again, could just be because we don't have anything for comparison right at this uh, moment. But anyway, definitely great looking. Again, good detail. And this guy is at the advance here, a little bit of flash as we can see. And again, try and capture that as focused as it's going to get here. So yeah, at a low crouch or advance here. Again, good looking miniature. Oop, a little bit more flash at the back there, but nothing, nothing catastrophic. And then this guy here just kind of standing, looking like, I think, also reloading potentially. And some sort of skull cap on leather cap or something like that. But again, overall, great looking minis. A little bit of work there on the sword and everything. Still needs to be done and some flash here and there. But yeah, there you have it. So again, with the starter box, which we'll be reviewing here in uh, short order, you, you do get, I think it's like eight militia. So, and I think our buddy here has also picked up an extra eight. So definitely going more towards that list, at least at the outset, focusing on them as a uh, mainstay unit. But overall, yeah, really cool looking, hoping to see these across the table at some point soon. For you guys that play English, for Blood and Plunder. Let us know what uh, you favor as your lists. Um, do you like the militia? Do you go for other units? Uh, what all um, have you had success with with the English here in the game and where you rate uh, the minis for them? So again, personal opinion, I think they look great. Should be fun again once they get painted up and we'll hopefully be featuring them in some battle reports soon for you guys. We got more content coming up, so we got more faction reviews, more, a little bit more uh, to unbox here for the English for you, and then getting those back uh, to our buddy again so that he can get to work on his forces. So stay, uh, stay on the lookout for that. Should be over the next day or so, and then we'll have again plenty more content coming for you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out as always, and we'll see you in the next one.